Hello everybody, Anthony is here and I'm making a series of videos about the environment that I've created for Unreal 5. So with Unreal 5 now we can create these huge environments. Uh, this one is about 30 billion triangles. Uh, I don't have any UVs or anything. It's all polypaint and 3D code. I think 3D code is the best software to do this. Uh, so I would, I, I'm making I'm making the ID masks inside 3D code and I'm using a Quixel material to uh, create the material that can then match with the Quixel assets. Uh, uh, so we have this really great uh, ecosystem of uh, different softwares coming all together uh, that uh, you know, empowers artists to create environments in days and be really productive and really fast. Also want to mention this particular photo pack that I used as a reference because I usually always have a lot of reference and that gave me a really good point to start with and obviously then you know, once you understand what, what you're aiming after you can make it way bigger and go crazy. So I'll leave the link in the description. So the whole environment was built just out of this little piece. But I want only to focus on one particular wall. Alright, so here I'm inside the paint room and I have this particular block. And what I need to do is I need to bake uh, and calculate the curvature for the whole mesh. I have a slightly change, I changed the parameters a little bit, by default it's like 50 to 10. Uh, just gave me a better result in this particular case. So I'll give it a second to calculate. And I can now unhide it. And you can see what uh, curvature map I've got. I do have some spots here, which I'm not sure how to remove. I think I just have to play a bit more with the settings. <clears throat> and I'll get it. I also have an ambient occlusion here has already been baked, but if I just baking it, I'm baking it with the standard settings around here. And then we have our layers. We need them to use the procedural materials that we can throw on top of the mesh. So one of them I'm using that we already have in the library, it's called this plastic, plastic duty. Uh, and I need to create a new layer and I have my field brush on. If I pre do a preview, I can see how it's going, how it's happening. And you can, can check that I just have my color on. We, we're not going to export any of the roughness of normal maps, so we just need, only need the base color. So here I press E, pick the rectangular tool and do the whole trend, like baking through through the mesh and you can see i have like ignored back faces off so now i'm baking i mean like feeling through the whole thing then what i need to do is i need to create a new layer and then i want to so i created the red color right so now i want to have blue color really bright blue so for that we can use uh, some of the materials that we have here already so like metal light but i want to change it into a blue color a really really strong blue like this and I can save is we can save this as a new, and then I do this, fill it up. And there we go. We have our blue channel, and then I want to have my green channel. For the green channel, to be honest, blue and red already doing pretty good job here, and it might be alright with that. However, if you want to add an extra, you know, extra channel, you can go with the dust, for example, or dirt mask, so I can click on one of those and then I obviously need to change it so I want to change the color of this dust I right click again at my material editor change it to bright uh, bright green and now if I hit and I can play around with this you can play around with the depths and everything I'm pretty happy so I save as new again draw a mask and get the whole thing and I made a mistake, I've actually overpainted on top of the blue material. So I need to undo it, uh, create a new layer, draw on top, and we will have a, a material, a material pure color inside uh, Unreal 5. So um, yeah, done. If you want to add something else, what I need to do is I need to turn off the materials like that, then go into the pen mode and well, we can start painting uh, using some alphas. So I think this is uh, my alpha. I oh, know it's one of the standard alphas right here, right? So I can paint extra bits uh, on top. Just hand paint some 
texture and I can erase it, build it up, and kind of quite a bit of fun to do it on top of just a high poly model. I haven't done anything. I can press shift and it will start smoothing, smoothing a bit slow, but it's all good. And then once we're done with this, it's good to be, and I don't really need this, it's good to be exported to Unreal and you just need to Unreal, uh, just need to export FBX, just the FBX. It will it will save the color information. You, you don't need to save as PLI, PLI if you know about it. The PLI file format uh, saves the vertex color information. It's more like commonplace for that type of stuff. Uh, and yeah, once we, once we're done with the export, draw, you know, we are good to go into Unreal 5 and I'll talk in the next video on how to set up the material in Unreal 5 so that we can have an actual textured model there.